everybody this is Mike and in today's video we'll talk about night photography with your drone and what steps you need to take to increase the fun that you're having with your drone and capture some stunning shots during the night with your drone. Now it goes without saying that you should definitely follow the local rules and regulations in your country about flying a drone especially at night because it's a dangerous thing and uh, I don't advise you to break the rules. Luckily for me, we don't have any strict rules in my country about flying a drone during the night. So I was able to fly in a couple of different locations, capture some nice shots for you guys and give you a couple of tips that I think you might find helpful. So without any further ado, let's jump to tip number one. So tip number one is a bit connected to what I have just said is to fly safe and a part of flying safe is to always uh, inspect the area where you plan to fly during the day so you are aware what the location has to offer, what are the possible obstacles, where are they, uh, if there are any power lines or any trees or anything that might be invisible during the night, it's a good idea to go and investigate just for a couple of minutes. Another way to do that is to go to your selected location during sunset and just observe everything. That way you can capture some nice shots during sunset, you know the, the golden hour is a great uh, part of the day for filming but also you will be able to see any obstacles or any power lines trees and anything that could be a potential problem for you and then just wait a bit longer until it gets completely dark and you can start flying during the night so that's tip number one is basically to observe your location uh, be aware of your surroundings and just fly safe so for night photography, you definitely need to use manual mode in your camera settings just so you can dial down that uh, shutter speed and exposure and everything needs to be right. That's, that's why you need to use manual mode. But in order to be safe and get to your destination as quickly as possible, I recommend you to fly in auto mode just until you get to that spot that you're trying to shoot then switch to manual mode and start experimenting with the settings that can save your drone from a potential crash and i actually did that mistake myself the first time when i tried to fly at night and i immediately switched to manual mode and uh, everything turned black so i had to play with the settings a bit to make everything lighter but then i figured why not just switch to auto so i can fly freely and get to where i want to go and it helped me so i think that's important to know the next tip for night photography is to avoid windy days or extremely windy days because you need your drone to be as stable as possible in the air until you capture your shot. In most scenarios you will need your drone to be as stable as possible for at least two or three seconds, even five seconds and even the, the slightest amount of wind can be a deal breaker for you so try to pick a day with not a lot of wind. For extra stability you will definitely need to use tripod mode to make your drone even more stable in the air until you get your shot and you want to avoid those blurry buildings or trees or any other objects in your photos so tripod mode definitely helps with that. The next thing you need to know about night photography is that you definitely need to use RAW as a, your image format just so you can capture the most amount of data because you will need that in post. Just like with daytime photography, RAW helps you uh, play with the white balance, the exposure, the shadows, the highlights and everything else so you can turn a photo from this to this. It makes a huge difference so make sure you select RAW as your image format if you want to edit your photos afterwards and make them look even better. Coming up next is to try long exposure photos. Those type of shots are extremely good looking and are very unique. So you definitely need to use that to your advantage and take a long exposure shot when possible. To do that, you simply need to go to the manual settings of your camera and select the right shutter speed. Now, in my case, I was playing with shutter speeds of about two, three or five seconds. And when you go to the five second shutter speed, you definitely see a lot of blurriness because the drone has to be completely stable for five seconds. And that's easier said than done because even the slightest amount of wind pushes it a bit and you get a blurry photo. So you'll definitely need to experiment until you get the right shutter speed. And of course, it's a matter of luck as well, because if you get a moment where you don't have a lot of wind, you can capture some stunning 
long exposure photos without any blurriness and uh, those are really unique looking and very beautiful so uh, try to switch from two to three to five seconds and play with different settings just so you can see which will work the best another thing that could be helpful for you when you're uh, playing with the shutter speed is to go to the play button which you can see on the bottom right corner of your screen uh, in the DJI Go 4 app and see how the images are turning out that way you can see if they're uh, completely blurry or are actually okay so that way you know if your experiments are um, working out or not and the final tip that I have for you today is to set your LEDs to auto turn off when shooting photos. That will really help uh, remove that red or green color leak from your shots and will make them as clear as possible depending on the lighting conditions. In case you don't activate this auto turn LEDs off, you will see some green leak or a red leak around the photo and it's definitely not a good look for your photos so to remove that you need to go to the settings and set uh, auto turn off LEDs to on. Now that I've shown you my tips and settings that I use here are a couple of shots that I've taken last night with my DJI Mavic Air. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Drone Supremacy if you want to see more shots. And that's it basically for this video. Please drop a like if you have enjoyed the video. Comment below if you have any other tips or you have any questions about night photography. And I'll be sure to respond as soon as possible. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next one. Ciao.